This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Megas and with E3 being at a close, let's talk about some of the things that I probably would have loved to have seen but didn't see. Um, Now, side note, there were some trailers and things that weren't shown that were probably supposed to be a part of shows, so I highly recommend you go to places like um, IGN, GameStop, uh, Kotaku, whatever. I know you may not like some of these sites, and hey, some of these sites I don't like either, but they have trailers and stuff. Um, Like, I know PlayStation Blog put up different trailers that weren't shown at the show. Um, Xbox.com um, may have done the same thing, so check that out, but... You can go to the media sites and you probably can see trailers that you didn't see on stage um, if you want to. That being said, there still was some stuff that was kind of conspicuous, at least to me. Um, and some things that I kind of wanted to see but didn't get to see. Like, I'm sure for some, the uh, Rockstar thing was very conspicuous. Even though Rockstar said, we're not doing the easy th thing, a lot of us probably hit thought that hey Rockstar's probably gonna bring out a surprise they didn't they didn't bring out a surprise or anything like that Rockstar generally you know they dance to their own beat so it's not a surprise um I guarantee you if there is something for Rockstar to show it'll show up around August they get you hype it'll come out in the fall you'll fucking go out and buy it and be happy because it's Rockstar. Um, I was surprised not to see, of course, Crackdown 3. I think a lot of people were expecting to see Crackdown 3 get a release date. Not on both. Um, very, very interesting. Uh, as a side, I did expect to see a lot of VR, but Sony, good job. You showed a lot of VR without sh pushing it down our throats. Um, it was a quick hitters. That was cool. You gave us a release date. Good on you. You didn't just sit there and do a, as my boy Eurostrix would say, you didn't do a Wonder Book presentation. So that was cool. That was cool. Um, what else would I want to see? I know some people want to see The Last of Us 2. I'm good that we didn't see that. But I did want to see a new Naughty Dog project. So that would be kind of a disappointment. Um... Look, I know people think that I'm fucking with my boy, uh, Abel and Big Fry, but I kind of wanted to see a new SOCOM. I really did. Uh, I never played SOCOM because I was on PC that whole generation for PlayStation 2. So I never got to experience it. And the way they talk about it, the way I've seen other people talk about it, I'm very, very curious to see a revamped SOCOM. I thought that this would have been a great opportunity just like i guess the crash bandicoot remasters was their way of doing that a uh, um big nostalgic moment um sort of <sighs> i guess going forward that's what we can expect maybe a socom remaster or something like that uh, possibly on the ps2 um side of things because uh i think that sony is going to try to bring back some of these um, franchises that people are really, really asking for. I think the remaster of Crash Bandicoot is like their first baby stepping uh, thing to, okay, let's try to gauge interest for people who really say they want it. See if they're going to play the remasters and if they're going to really play that. They clearly want to crash so we'll work something out with Activision. You know, um, looking at SOCOM, I think that maybe you'll get a SOCOM on that PS2 classic type of thing. And then they go from there and make one. I don't, and again, um, maybe E3 is not the stage to expect a SOCOM. I know E3 is considered the biggest stage in gaming, but I feel like, also, SOCOM would probably rate higher if they did it at the PlayStation Experience. So, maybe that's what they're holding court for. 
I really do still believe that they're going to try to bring out a SOCOM. Just as much as I believe that maybe a Siphon Filter is going to come. I believe there's a lot of old franchises that Sony is looking at. They know a lot of people wouldn't mind having. And they can gauge the excitement uh, for it by just maybe putting out these classic versions first. And then taking their time and figuring out how to properly announce them and give them their own due. I just feel like that's going to happen. I you know, still do. Sorry if I offend any SOCOM people. But I really do think you're going to get your game. I'm not just fucking with you when I say that. I say that with conviction. Honestly. Trust me. Um, but yeah. Uh, those are a few of the things that I was looking forward to. Didn't see. I was hoping Nintendo would have the balls to to mention something about the NX, um, but they clearly didn't. Um, as usual, Nintendo came meek at E3. That's been their thing for the last few years. He's right behind that thing. What else would I wanted to see? Um, I can't think of anything else. That was pretty much those things that were the biggest on my list that I didn't see. But what was it? that you want to see at this E3 um, that you did not see so please feel free as always to hit me yes. up let me know what you think and I'll hide you later this your boy black makers and I'm out deuces